What's up, guys? Uh, how often do you hear people say, how much you bench, man? How much do you bench? What's your bench? I don't know why, but for some reason, the bench has always been the uh, staple, you know, of, of strength. It's the, uh, everyone wants to know how much you bench. They never ask you how much you squat or deadlift or curl. It's always how much you bench, man. And, and I will say the bench is an important compound movement, no doubt about it. It hits the chest, the shoulders, the back, I mean, everything. And you might say, how does it hit your lats and even your legs? But over the years, uh, my bench has gone up, you know, very steadily over the years. It peaked quite a while back. My bench has gone down a little bit since I've gotten older, but I still, you know, can, and can have a decent bench. Uh, but what I want to talk about was things you can do to immediately make your bench better to make to put more to be able to push more weight on the bench in other words you want to bench pressing like deadlifting and like squatting is a lot of technique and i'm going to show you how 99 percent of guys at the gym bench there's nothing wrong with how they're benching but it's not optimal okay i mean they're still getting some benefit but if you want to get optimal benefit and get a bigger bench if your goal is to push more weight get stronger on your bench press I'm going to show you the techniques that I use in powerlifting that really help your bench. Now, I'm gonna, first, I'm going to show you how most guys bench. You're just average gym bro out there who doesn't compete or anything. He's just bench pressing. And some of these guys can move some decent weight with this technique. I'm not saying it's an awful technique, but it's definitely not optimal. The word there is optimal that I'm using. So most guys do this. I'm on the bench. You see the bar behind me. I'm on a power rack here, so it's a little bit different setup, but basically the same thing. You know, you got your feet here, right? They come back. Feet are out like this. They grab the bar, get their grip, right? All right. And they're, they're completely flat. Okay, their feet are out flat. And here they are. This is, the, this is how most guys are bench pressing. Now, it looks pretty good, right? You're sitting there saying, yeah, it looks good. And it is good. This isn't bad. I mean, it's, it's working my chest. I'm feeling some front delts here, you know, triceps a little bit, right? And then that's it. Now, you might say, okay, Kevin, that looked pretty good. What's that? What's wrong with that bench? Here, I'm going to show you a few things you can do right away to make your bench better. Now, it's not going to make your bench go from 300 to 400 like they say. I'll make your bench better. Add 100 pounds to your bench in, you know, 10 days. I'm not promising any of that bullshit. But if you use some of these techniques, all right, your bench will go up. It will definitely optimize your bench press, okay? So... The first thing that they're doing wrong in that bench that, that's not perfect here is your leg, your feet position. Your feet being out like this, okay? You want your feet, you want to tuck your feet in like this. Tuck them in underneath you. Get them underneath your body. Like you want to tuck them, tuck them nice and down and use, okay? You tuck them in. The next thing is your, your bar placement's fine. The grip should be shoulder width apart, roughly, or wherever you're comfortable. And... That's a good setup right there. Okay, that's number one. Number two was the elbows. All right, when you see that the previous time I'm benching, my elbows are flared way out like this. See how I'm flaring them? You want to tuck your elbows in more. See how I'm tucking them in more like this. This is going to give you a lot more chest. You're going to isolate the pecs a lot more by tucking the elbows in. When you flare them out like this, you're really stressing your shoulders. You're really putting a lot of stress on your shoulder, your rotary cuffs, your front and your side delts especially, okay? So tuck the, try to work on tucking those elbows in. And bar placement's key too. And your bar motion should be pretty much up, you know, straight up and back a little bit, but straight up is fine too, all right? So foot placement, you wanna bring your feet in. And why do you, you say, why do you wanna bring your feet in? When you tuck your feet in, and you're, you're going to have a slight arc in your back, all right, when you're doing this, you're going to be kind of, the really, when you set up for a bench press, in a competition especially, it's pretty damn uncomfortable because you're squeezing your shoulder blades together, okay, you're squeezing those shoulder blades together, you got your elbows tucked in, you got your feet underneath, and you're basically like a big spring, you know, you're, you're like, you're cocked, you know what I'm saying? So, you're using your legs, and, and when you come down... You push with the glutes and legs and back and then lock out with the triceps, okay, and the pecs. So you're utilizing your whole body when you bench press. I know you don't think of it that way. And it's funny because when I started benching, I was using the technique I showed you previously. My legs were kind of out. My elbows were flared out. And I still had a pretty good bench press. But when I switched over to bringing my elbow, and it takes some practice to tuck those elbows in. If you're used to flaring them, 
and you start tucking them in more, you know, it takes practice. So lighten up your weight when you do that and uh, really, really uh, take your time with it. This video, this angle sucks. I, I apologize um, for this. I don't have a cinematographer. I don't have someone to roll around and use my camera for me. So I'm trying to verbalize this as best I can. I know it really sucks because I'm looking at myself doing this and it's like, yeah, this isn't great, but I'm hoping you get the gist of it. Um, one thing you can do is you can, you can go on YouTube and you can see lots of guys like Ed Cohen, uh, Larry Wheels, uh, and uh, Bill Kazmaier, you can you can look up these guys and how they bench press and how they've increased their bench press and what techniques they use. And it's all similar to this um, somewhere in that neighborhood. But one thing definitely is leg placement. Get your legs underneath you a little bit. And it also gives you a better base. When you're out like this, you don't have a lot of, you know, a lot of control. You know, you're much better with your legs underneath you like this, like this here versus like this. You can see how this is not as stable as this. This is much more stable. And my butt stays on the bench the whole time. My butt, you see guys lift their butt up like that. You don't want to do that. Keep your ass on the bench. And when I come down, you just, you're, you're, you're squeezing the glutes, flare in the back, fire in the back, elbows in, and just boom, it's an explosive movement like that. And it takes, it takes time to get used to that because at first when you bring your legs in, that's not a big adjustment. The elbow adjustment was the hardest for me to do. When I was young, I was just flaring my elbows out. But when I brought my elbows in, that was the hardest adjustment for me to make. Just the feel of that is different. But once you get it and you get that groove with the elbows in more, you'll see your pecs really grow also. My pecs just really got thicker. Because before, when you bench with elbows out, generally you're going to really hit your front deltoids a lot. So you're going to get these big front delts, right? And then you're going to have a sunken chest. So you may have a good chest, but if your front delts are that damn big, your chest is going to look smaller. I had that problem. I mean, I used to, my first bodybuilding show, um, I looked at my physique and it was like, wow, my delts were overpowering my chest. So that's when I started working out with more powerlifting stuff, bench pressing, and my pecs started to grow, get bigger. So that was a big uh, adjustment. But you'll notice bringing your elbows in like that, you'll get more isolation on your pectoral muscles, okay? So it's not just, this isn't just for ego and building your bench up, but, you know, the more weight you move, the bigger you're going to get if your goal is to get bigger, you know. My goal really isn't getting bigger anymore. My goal is to just continue to maintain what I have now and just work on conditioning. But having a good bench and being able to bench press is never a bad thing. If you have bad shoulders, I wouldn't recommend you bench press. If you got rotary cuff issues, don't bench press, all right? Shit can it. Do something else. Do flies do um, machines or something different that you can that doesn't aggravate your shoulder because the bench isn't a necessity but it's a good compound movement to do if you're still interested in benching and you want to maximize your bench those are three little things you can do you know where i said tuck the elbows in foot placement and get a good you know arc on your back when you're benching you know when you're you have to think of it this way when you're when your feet are back like this and your shoulder blades are tucked in you, you know you got your arms you're tucked in tight and everything's real tight you should be able to put your hand someone should be able to come up to you when you're laying flat on the bench and put their hand underneath your under your then the small of your back there should be kind of a small little almost like your foot where you got an arch you know in your foot not a big arch i'm not talking about you know like this i'm just talking about a very small arch so you should have a nice arc where your shoulder blades are really pinned down you know your ass is down and you got a nice arc in there so when you're coming up and the elbows are in legs are tucked right you got that arc in there and you push you just, it's all all that momentum all those muscles are working in unison together and then you get that push with the legs and the bottom all right this is my workout partner here he's always hanging around me not a good spotter though for some reason he's a little bit short but <laughs> anyway guys Hope those tips help. If you got any questions, feel free to ask or comment down below or what you might do for your bench press or um, anything that you've done that's helped your bench press. Uh, there's a lot. I mean, bench pressing, like deadlifting, like squatting. There's a lot of different techniques that guys use to bench press and how they bench. And some people put, you know, put their legs up on the end of the bench. You see guys do that. That helps isolate a little bit more because you're getting no leg drive. So you're saying, Kevin, why not put my legs up like some guys you know, and that's that's not a bad thing either because without your leg drive, you're using more chest up here.
by putting your legs underneath, these are more techniques for power, for really developing a bigger, stronger bench press, all right? And, but when you put your legs up on the bench, like you see some guys do this, you know, they got their legs up like this, and then they're bench, press, then they're bench pressing like this. Now, what does that do? Well, that takes your lower body out of the exercise completely, and the idea is it isolates more up here. I don't see it a lot. I don't know. I've never done those. Never, ever have I done those. They're, they're just um, something I've never done. So, I mean, I'm not saying they're bad. I see guys do them occasionally on there. I've seen Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger do them. So you've seen his fucking chest. It's pretty amazing. So, you know, I'm not saying it's wrong. I've just never done them. So I can't comment. I'm not going to comment on something I've never done myself. So I've never tried them. I've never done them. Don't know how they are. But they do seem to be, it seems to me like they would be isolating more because you're taking the lower body out of the movement you see what i'm saying so that's 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 that anyway i got a lot of more techniques on how to build a bench up but like i say i'm really talking to guys 50 and over here young guys are fine but the most of the guys i'm appealing to here are older guys and not many guys 50 or over saying i want to bench 400 pounds they just want to look better right like me and like everybody else i get that but i thought i'd throw this out there if you want to change up your bench if you're looking to add some pounds to your bench Maybe your technique's not that great. Try these techniques here, this technique I showed you. And, you know, over time, it will help your bench press. It will also save your shoulders. You, your rotary cuffs will thank you if you're bench pressing like this versus like this. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to be hitting a video very soon on deadlifting. I, I posted a video of me deadlifting the other day. I did a video on deadlifting. I looked at it. It sucked because the angles were bad. So I'm going to redo it and maybe launch that uh, tomorrow or later this week or sometime. All right. Hope this helps out. Later, guys.